question. How much money should you keep at home in case there's an emergency? Now, the answer depends. But experts who were quoted today in an article in the Wall Street Journal are suggesting enough to survive with no bank accounts or credit cards for up to two weeks. That's what they say, up to two weeks. Now, these experts say if you live in an area prone to, say, hurricanes, wildfires, snowstorms, power outages, maybe you need a little bit more. But generally, advisors say it's better to you know, have your money collecting interest instead of collecting dust at home, right? All right, so with that, it's a good segue to certified financial planner Doug Flynn, who joins us on the program uh, today. A little known fact about Doug, um, like Geraldo, he, he drives a, a, a hybrid Bentley uh, no from way. his home on Long Island. So, so just, just Doug and Geraldo, the uh. only two that I know with the hybrid <laughs> Bentley. So, um, how much, by the way, the reason they wrote this uh, story, which is, is creative, uh, obvious, uh, not, maybe it's not obvious, but I think the reason they wrote it is because Menendez, the senator who's facing these charges, mm -hmm. supposedly had almost 500 grand at home, right? <laughs> so what, what's a sensible amount of money these days to keep at home? A lot of us don't have a lot of cash anywhere we go, whether it's at home or, or even going out anymore, you know? That's true. I think, you know, there's two parts of cash, right? There's the cash that the old adage of having three to six months expenses mm -hmm. in the bank or in savings for an emergency. But what we're really talking about here is what you should keep on hand on your, <laughs> on your premises in your house. And I think, you know, as anyone who lived through Hurricane Sandy did, like we did, where yeah. you were out of power for 13 days, I think two weeks is a pretty reasonable amount of time to have cash on hand. Obviously, you don't want to have it on your person and, and milled about, but maybe in a safe or something where you can get to. Because at the end of the day, if you're out of power for that period of time and ATMs don't work and you need some things, whether it's food or something fixed, Cash will really be king in that in that situation, and you need to be able to get to it. So I think that's a pretty reasonable thing to to think about. Yeah, uh, four hundred eighty thousand may be a bit much uh, wrapped up in your in your jacket you, or whatever you the could buy is a, doing. A hybrid Bentley with that. Yeah, exactly right. You go to the dealership and. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.